A big announcement this week from Aiken's mayor, the Savannah River National Laboratory is forming a new partnership with the city and it will change the face of downtown Aiken. Mayor Rick Osborne is our studio guest this morning, one on one with Richard Rogers. And good morning, Mayor Rick Osmond. Welcome. We're glad to have you in studio with us this morning. Good morning. Let's start with that new agreement. On the surface, it sounds like classroom space downtown. Kind of reminds me of the cyber deal in Augusta. Would you describe it that way? Is this classroom space? It is a component of it, but uh, not the only thrust of it. Um, first of all, so, so there are 17 national labs uh, throughout the DOE complex. Uh, this is the youngest one of, of the 80 year history with them. Um, it, we feel that there's probably more potential uh, for this because it is in that developing stages that a lot of the other complexes, we've seen the lab make, labs make moves into community. Um, for example, what, what's happening at USC Aiken with the AMC allows for more technology transfer. So you'll probably see more manufacturing be able to come in because it's not behind a gate and a fence mm -hmm. that, that doesn't allow it. This particular model of it, though, um, while it certainly does does offer an, an awful lot as far as classroom, it's, it's not going to be a wet lab. So mm -hmm. uh, to alleviate any concerns from from people on, on that bringing downtown, um, it it does offer almost a think tank sort of sort of attitude. But um, you know they're still solving problems. That's that's what the labs do. They they kind of solve world problems from energy, environmental, uh, national defense. So bringing that down here just brings, you know, a, a great, um, I guess, intellectual capital to our sure. downtown. And, right. and uh, you know, it's a, it's a $20 million investment in the building, uh, bringing, bringing in probably around 100 employees. That's what I was going to get to next. Yeah. Let's talk about the head count. Between the students sure. and staff, how many bodies is that put right in the heart of downtown Aiken? So it's 100 plus uh, coming in with, with, you know, employees making six figures. Uh, coming in and it really gives a face to the lab in the community, which I don't I don't think a lot of people recognize that we had uh, this jewel out out at the site. So bringing it in, it, it gives a, a great face for it. Um, you know, wonderful people who, who do a tremendous amount of work. Uh, it'll be it'll be great for for the city of Aiken to have that in our downtown supporting small businesses, sure. supporting restaurants. Um, I'm sure it'll afford new opportunities and, and those things that we all enjoy so much in our, in our downtown. Uh, excited about bringing in doctoral and postdoctoral uh, students as well and, and faculty. Um, mm -hmm. So the partnership is a collaborative of universities, um, including South Carolina, Clemson, Georgia, Georgia Tech, SC State, and USC Aiken. So it's going to have a lot of students coming through, um, staying in hotels. Um, spending eating in money, restaurants, eating in restaurants, filling up the cars with that's gas. right, enjoying music in downtown sure. Aiken. Yeah. So uh, it, it, it's, it's going to be a huge boost for the economy and just a great presence in our downtown. Again, it feels like the cyber campus in Augusta to me it does, on the surface. It does a bit. You know, you know this, I know this. People in Aiken love their history. What does this footprint do to old uh, Aiken Hotel, the, the Hotel Aiken? Is it preserved? So it, so it takes the hotel out of the equation. This is a different block. Um, it it takes a, a motel portion of it, which was built in 1981, um, and cleans that up with, with this building. Uh, any, any, and I think one of the beauties is any, any business that is going to be affected through this um, will, be, will be purposed in another, another location in the block. So if it's taken a footprint of, of, of one business, that business will be moved over to another location. Uh, so that so it, it won't affect their business. They'll be able to move right on in. Uh, it saves John, the Johnson Drug Store, which was which is a historical um, black pharmacy, mm -hmm. and it has it has some significant history uh, to that. So it saves that building, and actually we look forward to doing a refurbish and restoring it more to its historic state. So does the city own Hotel Aiken? Going back to that property, the city does not own it right now. It's through a development corporation, but it's in the process of being transferred over to the city. OK, and what are your plans for it? Well, we're, uh, we're actually going to look at the hotel and do an RFP. I mean, uh, we, we, we were dealing with, with and working with, with a development team on that. Um, the process didn't work. Um, so you're just open to proposals. Yeah, we're going to sit down an RFP probably in 45 to 60 days. Now, um, and, 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 and in that RFP, we're going to we're going to look uh, with a with a hard leaning uh, to proposals that will will uh, talk about 
preservation of the building. That's going to be, a, that'll resonate with a lot of people. Yeah. Now back to the, the classroom, uh, the Savannah River mm -hmm. Lab. Uh, this, you've got $20 million in federal funds from plutonium. Right. Is that going to cover the whole uh, uh, bill there? Are you going to go to taxpayers for more money on this? Well, uh, first of all, the state's the one who put the money in. Um, it, it, it's coming, it, it was going to be built somewhere. Right. Our, our, our part of it was working with them to because we, we felt like it makes a lot more sense to be somewhere where students coming in can stay, walk, and, and enjoy a, an active downtown as opposed to 25 miles out from any city anywhere and you know, having to take a bag lunch, right? So, <laughs> so it made a lot of sense. Like, like I say, the, um, the team at the lab wanted to have a presence in, in downtown and wanted a real face within the community. So, so that worked out well also. I know you're very early in this, but people who were opposed to Project Pascalis, kind of give me the thumbnail on that, the cliff notes. Yeah. What went wrong with that in, yeah, in a few I, words? I can. Um, uh, you know, I think, it, I think it grew to a point where it was so large. It wasn't just a, hot, a hotel. Um, along with that, there was a apartment came in with apartments. Parking and, deck. And, and I think the apartments were probably, the scale of that was too large for what people wanted to see downtown. Okay. Um, it, it doesn't mean it was a bad project in the sense that would it have worked, but I think the feedback we got from a lot of people were, you know, it just, it doesn't, it loses the feel of aching. Sure. And so uh, you, you have to listen to that and, and, and agree with that. You know, I, I, I look at Charleston Place and Charleston, Joe Riley got sued multiple times before they got Charleston Place, but man, I'm glad they got it like they did. Exactly. So, so I, I feel like it gives us an opportunity now to really do something right and okay. get it, get it, what people want to see and what we want to see. In the last few seconds here, uh, Savannah River Nuclear Lab dominated the coverage of your State of the City address. Yeah. What, what other elements would you like people to know about the yeah. state of the city in Aiken? A right lot now? of great things going on. Um, Whiskey Road, which is our Washington Road in, in, in Aiken. For um, years and years we've been uh, talking about full, Whiskey Road. Full, full funding for a new powder house connector, which offers an alternative route, which which is the only way you can really solve traffic problems, reducing like 24% in the most congested area. Um, we have full funding uh, working through the state with the Infrastructure Bank, um, look, looking at turning dirt this year finally on that project. Um, uh, we, we, have, we have so many things going on. Uh, Hitchcock Woods, uh, one of the largest urban forests in the country, uh, had an incredible you know, five-decade-long five problem of stormwater erosion. Uh, we worked with the Woods Foundation to come to a solution on that and made a beautiful entry park into it and uh, just so many things going right. I mean, north side expansion with uh, new development coming in. Uh, we're excited and very optimistic on Aiken right now. And you've been at this a long time, eight years in all Eight years, yeah. Well, congratulations on a long Thank run. You. And we're looking forward to the future. We'll see what downtown Aiken looks like. We'll check in in a year or so and find out what's uh, going on with lo it. Love to tell you about it. I'm sure we'll be uh, doing news stories along and along. Mayor Rick Osmond, thanks for your time this morning and good luck over in Aiken. Thank you, Richard.